that we actually find carbon-14 in dinosaur bones. Do you want to elaborate on why that's an Oh issue? yeah, because see, carbon-14, see, it can't prove millions of years because carbon-14 is a very fast decaying radioactive element. Its half-life is about 5,730 years. So after one half, we've got half of it left. After two, there's a quarter. After three, there's an eighth and so on. Is there's only about a millionth of the original stuff, and it starts off as one in every trillion carbon atoms as carbon-14. So it's going to be below detector limit after about 20 half-lives. So if we're detecting carbon-14 at all, um, it can't even have been a million years old. It can't even really be 100,000 years old, because otherwise it, we, it should be below detector limit. And yet here we are finding it in dinosaur bones and coal at age 300 million years old. In diamonds, alleged to be billions of years old, they're all got carbon-14, but they shouldn't if, if they're that old. So it's a choice. Is carbon-14 a reliable dating method, or are these things millions of years old? You can't have both. In fact, we actually have a talk on radiocarbon dating and carbon-14, so do mm -hmm. check that out. Yep. Let's cover one of the objections that people always say. When we point out that there's carbon-14 in dinosaur bones, they always say, oh, that's contamination. How would you respond to that? Well, it's interesting. They, they resort to contamination when it doesn't suit their theory, but if creationists ever propose that, we're just being biased. You see, see, they seem to want it only for their own anomalies. The thing is, uh, there's also carbon-13, which is another type of carbon, I think about one in every 109. What's that? What's carbon-13? Well, okay, see, carbon is every element with 12 protons as carbon. Uh, most carbon has 12 neutrons, adding up 6 plus 6 is 12, so it's carbon-12. About one in every 109 is carbon-13, so six protons, seven neutrons. Carbon-14 has six protons, eight neutrons, okay, um, which is one in every trillion. Uh, so you can actually do a cross-check with carbon-13 composition and just show that it's, it's not the result of contamination. It gets a bit technical, but they do have contamination cross-checks that, that are standard, and these things are not contaminated. Okay, so just to put that in, in layman's term. Oh, gosh. Um, carbon but radiocarbon labs that they, these things, they not only measure carbon-14, but they usually measure carbon-13. And carbon-13 allows them to account mm. for modern contamination. So yes, what you're right. saying mm. is that if they have already accounted for modern contamination, we cannot appeal to contamination anymore. Right. And then what other things they can say? Or is it the result of a bombardment of nitrogen atoms to make carbon? And that's how carbon-14 is produced in the atmosphere. Cosmic rays bombard nitrogen-14, make carbon-14. But if that was the explanation for carbon in these fossils or diamonds or coal, um, then we should find a correlation between carbon dating and nitrogen content, which we don't find. And if we did find it, it would make carbon-14 pretty useless as a dating method. So in other words, the contamination, um, the excuse doesn't work for them. Well, I think you may as well throw out carbon-14 as a dating method if, if in fact that's what you're going to resort to. Okay, so in this talk, we cover a number of things. We look at soft tissue, we mm -hmm. look at... Um, um, DNA and we look at carbon-14. So what can you conclude from this? Well, I think uh, if we take carbon-14 as a reliable dating method, which they want us to do, well, the, it shows these dinosaur bones aren't millions of years old. And neither are the diamonds, neither is the coal. And therefore the rocks they're in can't be that old because the rocks are the same age. And therefore it calls into question the whole idea of the Earth is billions of years old. But it is consistent. All these things are consistent with the Earth being about 6,000 years old, and the fossils being formed in the flood about 4,500 years ago, all this is consistent. I mean, we're not going to say it proves it, but we're saying it's consistent with the biblical data.